Hello everyone, my name is Sick. Welcome back to another Ground Branch update video. Because today there was a release, or maybe yesterday I guess, was the release of another build update. Particularly number 11 called Bark. So, um, recently they announced that the next patch for Ground Branch was going to be PvP oriented. But that didn't happen because the main coder of the game, he lives in Australia, he had some internet blackouts or whatever, like the connectivity was an issue. So, needless to say, it is becoming very hard to test, you know, multiplayer issues <laughs> when, you're, don't, when you don't have internet. So, instead of that, they started working on the AI a little bit. That's good for me because I like a good bit of co-op, I like a good single-player experience, everything that contributes to that is perfect. I would also love to get into some PvP in Ground Branch in the future as well, but Mostly, you know, if you followed my videos in the past, I'm mostly interested in new tactical shooters if they are, or if they have, a single player component. And Ground Branch promises to have that. So, yeah, let's have a look at the list. I won't, I won't go through the entire thing because you can easily just read this on groundbranch.com in the dev blog section of the website. So we'll just have a look at what is new exactly and then we'll jump into a little, into a quick game. Um, so this will be the initial AI overhaul and we can have uh, an idea of how much their behavior has changed in the video below. Now this video belongs to Jayza, so I'm just going to um, play this right now for you and I'll put a link in, this, in the description below if you want to see it yourself. So don't think this is me stealing your uh, video please. <laughs> I just want to have a quick look at exactly what has changed. And then we'll go through the little quick change list. So, this is an AI guy. One of the first things that is immediately apparent is that they sprint now. Because that sprint animation is pretty, pretty obvious. <laughs> Obviously they go up and down ladders as well, which is awesome. Another thing that, we, that I already read about is that these guys will actually lean from cover now. So, that is really cool really cool. As you can see right here, this guy is clearly leaning from cover. He does ignore the fact that his dead body is there. <laughs> so that should, you know, create a danger zone around that area, I would say. You don't want to be in the place a guy just got shot in, after all. Because that would mean that, well, somebody's probably still watching that area. They're going to die next. But as you can see, these guys are taking cover behind low cover and things like that. They, they're leading out even when they're ducking in cover, which is kind of cool to see because, I don't know, maybe not all games have that, but yeah. Right, so that's that for the video. Let's have a look at the specific change list. Um, to sum up the various changes, AI enemies now have variable, variable perception, sight and hearing, react to being shot and flashed, as in banged, <laughs> uh, use cover and lean, notice dead bodies and can no longer hit at first contact and they also do basic callouts which for now are placeholder voices for contact and so on so let's have a look at the long version patrolling enemies now use the casual walking animation that will be interesting to see because i haven't really noticed that in the video above um, the AI, AI sight threshold depends on state, making it easier to approach an idle AI than an alert one. And that is really cool, because a guy that is on patrol, and he's been on patrol for weeks, and he's bored out of his mind in this compound in the middle of nowhere, he's not going to be super alert, probably. You know, if he hears gunshots, then yeah. But before that, if you've been out in the wilderness for God knows how long, probably not so much. So that is a really cool change. Um, their sight strength is also modified by float curse for distance and angle to target, making them less likely to notice you from a distance or from the sides. If you manage to sneak up on one, they will no longer be non-reactive to bumping in onto. Oh, that's interesting. So, I didn't even know that was a thing because I generally don't tend to get that close to the AI. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Um, hearing strength is modified by float curse for different types of sounds, meaning they're more likely to hear and react to gunshots over footsteps and so on. Also a really cool change, because, well, you can hear footsteps on the other side of the wall, but it doesn't mean they're enemy footsteps, right? Might just as well be AI footsteps. Unless you absolutely know for sure 
that nobody is supposed to be there, in which case, well, yeah, a little bit curious. <laughs> and one of the most obvious changes, the callouts. Contact, under fire and cover me are some of the lines you'll hear bots shouting out contextually. The voices are, of course, placeholder, but it still contributes considerably to the overall combat, giving a sense of communication and often making consequences, such as being hilariously wiped out 15 seconds into the round clearer, as well as sometimes giving away their positions. All right, that will be very cool to hear. I wonder, now of course these are placeholder for now, but it would be cool to have some interesting dialogue things in the future. Um, enemies now react to being shot at and, depending on their state, will duck or momentarily hesitate before fleeing. Also very cool. Um, I think the next step for that would be if they are paired as buddies or like in a, in a group. That some people might provide cover fire and while the other people retreat. I think that would be the next step for that particular system. That would be incredibly cool to see, as the original Ghost Recon had that as well. And I don't know if any other game ever did. So, yeah, it would be very nice to have back in there. Um, AI will use cover while attacking or searching, leaning around obstacles just enough to get a clear shot. They now notice dead bodies, friendly or otherwise. Some visible reaction to flashbangs has also been added. Enemies will now turn around randomly and move short distances until the effect wears off. Very, very cool. Because I've always wondered in Ground Branch how much of an effect my flashbang really had on these guys. So we, we're going to have to test that out. Um, finally, they deliberately missed their first shots at a new target for a while. This was done to prevent the impression of getting one shot out of nowhere but it's only a first iteration. The deliberate missing will be adjustable in the future based on difficulty level and able to be fine-tuned via .ini files. All right, and more details in the full patch notes at the end of the post. Well, we're not going to do all of that, um, but um, the new AI is now implemented on all terrorist hunt compatible maps. Right, uh, some other contact is in there. We have a reworked Mitch Helm helmet. I don't know how you pronounce that. I'll I'll call, I'll I'll say Mitch. <laughs> uh, the enemy now has a vintage foul rifle, which is a really cool looking rifle. I love the wood grip on that. Um, we have some other updates and fixes. Anyway, you can all have a look through this yourself. Now there's another one though, a sneak peek at some new weapon sounds. So let's have a look at us, at that as well. I haven't heard this myself. Alright, it was a single shot. I was waiting for another one, but... Sounds pretty damn sexy to me. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, this is all the patch notes. We're not going to go through all of this stuff because that is way too much. Let's jump into the game. Alright, well, I loaded up Power Station and it has about 20 tangos. And I figured this would be a nice area to check out the new walking animation because we can start out here way in this big open area, which usually has some patrols. So... If we're quiet, we should be able to have a look at this new animation. Oh, look at that. They have their gun down. And they're two men strong. <laughs> that is super cool. Now, another thing that we might be able to do here is let's have a look. I have a flashbang, of course. Got him. <laughs> Wasn't quite enough space to see how they reacted to that, but... Um, well, the one guy shot back. The other guy still has his weapon equipped, I think. Like, I think this is an equipped position. So, this guy got killed before we had a chance to recover from the flashbang effect. This guy had a little bit more time, but, you know, he still bit the dust, so... Ah, oh, that's really cool. I like seeing that animation. It does give you a lot of information about their current state. If they're aware of you... Like, this guy is totally not aware. I wonder. Let's have a look. Oh, I think... Oh, he definitely noticed me there. Oh, okay, I think that was the headshot we were looking for. 
That's another three guys coming down here. Oh, look at that. Oh! Oh, this is so cool. Look at that. He leaned from behind cover. The other guy sprinted to get into cover. He didn't even take the time to get his weapon out and ready. He was just like, nope. <laughs> he ran out of there. That is fantastic. And this other guy was just sneaky, sneakily sitting behind cover here, leaning out. He almost got me too, the bastard. And I heard someone shout. And I don't know from where. I, I guess I missed this guy somehow. Because so I shot one, the other guy ran. And this other guy, yeah, came this way. I, I think he also got shot. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> oh, but that's really cool though. And I wonder where he went. Right, so the top there is clear, it seems like. I shot a couple of rounds off, but I think this magazine is still pretty full, so I don't think we need another reload, like I did before I engaged this three-man patrol. Oh, we have another two guys. Oh, man. It's really cool to see these changes happening to Ground Branch, man. I'm super happy about the progress of this. Even with, like, such a small team, they keep the updates coming. Sometimes it takes longer, but that is the nature of development. On the whole, though, progress is coming along quite nicely. I think we can all be pleased with that. Shit. Yeah, okay, so there was a guy up on the roof. It's good to know. I don't know where he went. He did come down, but... Somehow I do What? Where the fuck did he come from? So the other guy is still up there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I see the shadow. Stay alive. Stay alive. <laughs> Did he really just say sh stay alive? Too late, buddy. Too late. <laughs> Alright, so we've got 11 people left. Alright, so there's definitely still some improvements that could uh, still be made. Like the guy with the sniper rifle, of course. There's no reason for him to get up off the roof and close the distance with us. He should definitely prefer to stay up on the high ground. Um, yeah, probably some other things too that I can't think of right now, but yeah. This is pretty damn cool, man. Alright, let's just see if we can clear this map. 11 people left. There's bound to be some people up in the courtyard, probably up in the windows as well. Oh, shit. Right, he just took cover, probably. Alright, that sounded really close. I don't trust that at all. I'm going to break contact here. I'm going to go inside the tunnels. There's probably a guy in there anyway. Fuck me! Well, <laughs> there he was. I was right. I like the new shouts. They give away their position, but you can still be surprised by these guys. This guy, though, was really quick. I don't know exactly what happened there, because, like, the patch note said he was supposed to miss his first few shots, but this was a fair kill. Like, I don't mind that at all. Like, I think this, this was totally okay. He knew I was there, he heard the shots, he was prepared, so... Good kill. Really. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this video. I'll jump back into some more ground branch later, but today I'm a little short on time. So, please leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed this content and wish to see more ground branch stuff. And I'll see you guys for whatever video I do next.